is going on guys check it out I'm here today with Mav again this is our second trip of the year as you guys know if you follow his channel he's been traveling all around the US in his truck mm -hmm. truck camping and uh, he just he was gonna come back through again I said gotta stop stop through in Idaho and fish so that's what we are doing check out this gorgeous lake we are at it is supposed to get up to like 51 which is unseasonably warm this time of year and what that means is usually the trout fishing is a lot better if you come out here like before it starts icing up and stuff it gets down really cold like 20 degrees or whatever at night but in the daytime it warms back up this is premium trout fishing time so should be a good day out here Matt where was your last place you were at so the last place I was at I well when I came up through here I went to uh, the Eastern Sierras and got to do a little bit of trail fishing there, so that was pretty cool. But there wasn't any lakes like this there, I guess. There was a lot of rivers, but I didn't get to fish any like big lakes like this, so I'm pretty excited. It's definitely not Southern California, which is uh, the last place I guess I spent a lot of time at, and it was driving me a little nuts. So it's nice to be back out in the outdoors, and uh, nice to be fishing with you, Ace. Well, glad to have you out here. Guys, here's what we got going on for baits today. So as you know, I'm not much of a, tr of a uh, fly fisherman when it comes to trout. Mav, though, has his fly rod, so I might try fly fishing. I've tried it only once. I might try that today. We're just going to try a whole bunch of different things. Heat, we're going to try lure fishing. We're going to try fly fishing. Um, I'm going to stick with my bread and butter, which is are these uh, like spinners and little jerk baits and stuff like that. So we have a good variety of spinners right here. But then as backup, in case the trout fishing is tough, we also have worms and all that jazz, just in case it's stuff out here. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have too much of a problem. But just in case we're struggling to catch them on lures, we have salmon eggs. We have trout scented uh, or, uh, super scented trout marshmallows and worms and all that stuff as a backup But for now, we're gonna get one of these lures tied on So the first lure I've got tied on here guys is this uh, blue fox um, Silver spinner, but I'm gonna do something. Um, I just decided Since we are fishing such clear water. I'm gonna tie on a four pound test leader I've really been learning a lot this year that if I switch to a four pound test leader for these trout I get way more bites so I'm gonna tie that on and uh, probably give like, probably it, we just need like 18 inches or so, but I've, I've really found that if I take the time to tie on a swivel and then tie on the four pound test line, uh, get a lot more bites. All right, here we go. Guys, check out how clear the water is. That's why I'm using four pound test. Speaking of, there's something in the water right down there. It's like, it looks like some piece of tech. There is something in the water. It's shiny. Oh, look, it's a tape measure. <laughs> First catch of the day. Check it out. Caught a tape measure. Hey, we'll need that to measure our trout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got a scale on it, too. That's good. What? Yeah. Oh, that's, it's a, oh fishing, it's a fishing one. It's a fishing tool. Oh, it's a fishing. Oh, my goodness. Guys. Here, I gotta take off your catch. Wow. Yeah, thank you. Oh, man, it's a squirmy one. Oh. It's a keeper, right. definitely. Oh, yeah. Ah! Yeah. That is funny. But it's got a scale on it. Oh yeah. Oh, and a, and a, oh, and a extractor. It's a hook extractor. Oh, that is cool. Oh, the scale actually will still work. I think the tape measure's seen better days. Huh. First cast, baby. Nice. All right, this is really the first cast. <laughs> well, guys, nothing at the first spot, so we're gonna drive down a ways and just we're just gonna run and gun till we start uh, finding some fish. All right, guys, so Mav just hooked up on a fish, but his GoPro is out of battery, or it's glitching up. So let's run over here. Mav is tearing it up. I have not even gotten a bite yet, guys. Sweet. Nice. Nice. Dude. It's a little guy. Should we keep him, too? Yeah, sounds okay. good. We'll have a nice trout feast. Yeah. I can't catch anything at the moment, so... <laughs> I think the cool. ticket is just the slow reel because I, uh -huh. I was just slowly rolling that one too. And you... you know, you also have a rainbow trout color jerkbait on, and I've not tried that yet. I've okay. only had a golden. Oh, yeah, you have your gold one on? Yeah. All right, there we go. That is cool, dude. Nice. It's just a little dude, but it still tastes pretty good. Uh huh. Sweet. Guys, that is the Rapala that's getting it done. I need to switch to that. The countdown. It's doing work. Would you be so kind to carry this back? For I, me? Will. I will. In All fact, right. I will bleed them out for you. Thank you, dude. You caught another one? Dude, guys, this is, you know, I invite Mav out here, and he's smoking me on my home water. I have caught zero. But I think if you have a spinner like you got on, I yeah. think that'll be the ticket, because they're like, 
there's they're busting like all up this part right here. Okay. So. Well, I lost my rainbow trout color jerk bait, so these spinners are all I got here, guys. Oh, sure. So I'm gonna try this spinner. I have a backup jerk bait, but it's kind of a floating one, kind of a thing. But it's not rainbow trout color. Mav, let me use his jerk bait and his fishing rod. His he just handed me his whole fishing rod. I'm all out of. Uh, that rainbow trout color jerk bait. I got a snag over there. And uh, so I'm gonna fish with his for a little bit, see if I can't score one. Got one. Nice. The line just took off. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> like two or three casts in. Dude, there's something wrong with this trout. Check out this the tr color on this trout. This is weird. I've never seen zombie head. What the heck? Dude, dude, but it's just on one side. Yeah. Guys, guys, wait till you see this. If we can get this in. Dude, what is with this fish? What the heck? It's like all the blood's in his head. Yeah, look at that. Your that bait. is so crazy. That's nuts. Oh, it looks like he has like a little injury or something here. See how his gill's missing? I wonder uh -huh. if he like survived like a attack or yeah. something. Yeah, but guys, hey, flip him around. See how it's just like, guys, it's like a, an exact like, it's not that way on the other side. That's weird. That is so weird. I've never seen that before. Yeah, look, he's got, like, marks on the top of his head, too. Or, look at, he's got, like, scars. Yeah. He's good. There we go. Sweet. Here. Thanks, bro. My first try of the day, like, three casts of using Mavericks lure. I've been trying jerk baits. I'd like to, I think I've on my seventh different lure. Not a bite for, like, three hours. Within three casts of using that jerk bait, I get one. So I'm gonna keep this one. I did not tell Mav this. We're actually gonna keep some extra trout and save them for sturgeon fishing tomorrow. So we have oh, some fresh trout sweet. for the sturgeon. So eat some, use some for sturgeon bait. Cause uh, in the next video guys will be a sturgeon video also with Mav in it. But like that, the, the, the head on that thing is so weird. I mean, that's so crazy. Two cool. Tone. Yeah, two tone trout. Dude, I've had a mink twice this year comes wasn't even recording. Oh. I wasn't recording. Oh. <laughs> nice. That was my first cast back with my rod. Oh. This really oh. oh, oh, shoot, shoot. <laughs> almost in my hand. <laughs> That's Sorry, crazy. Buddy. I almost got you. <laughs> now we're getting That's it. That's the ticket right that there. That is That's the what you ticket, need. 100%. <laughs> Come on. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I can't do anything to get him to bite. I've lit the only bite. Well, you know, I did catch that tape measure. That was the coolest catch of the day on my own fishing rod. The only time I get a bite is when I pick up Mav's fishing rod. And I can't get anything. However, check this out. We're gonna make a fire and roast up some of these trout. And this brush pile right here is perfect. We're gonna haul this back with us. This will be perfect for our fire. All right, guys, so this is the next task here. I've given up on fishing for the moment. I'm hungry and I'm going to uh, um, cook up some trout. Mav and I are both going to cook up a late lunch. That must still be green. That's still alive. I'm pulling that alive bush. That's dumb. Anyway, Mav and I are going to build a fire and then uh, we're going to start cooking up some trout because I'm starving and I'm so hungry. I'm starting to get a little grumpy. All right, my friends, so we have our nice trout here. Um, we're gonna play everybody's favorite game, what's in the guts. I don't know if these trout will have anything super interesting in them, probably just bugs. It's not like catfish. I think I've mentioned this one time before, the most interesting thing I ever found was a baby beaver inside of a catfish stomach. And you know, I don't feel anything. This trout was hungry. That's that's why he bit. This trout was hungry. We're just going to, uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to cut the head off because there might be some head meat. We're going to cook this thing whole. And there we go, guys. A cleaned trout. We left the head on because there will be a little bit of cheek meat there. I'd also like to thank my subscriber, Brian, for sending me this steel header uh, knife. I actually met him at Cabela's and he gave this and a fishing rod to me. So thank you so much, Mr. Brian. It's gonna have a hard time fitting in this frying pan here, guys. So I'm going to cut it in half. We're gonna pour some of the seasoning in a Ziploc bag. I've been starting to do this a lot more than just like frying up trout in butter. Um, I'm really digging the 
fried fish lately. We're gonna take some salt. In fact, this is popcorn salt sent to me by a subscriber. And we are actually doing fish and chips today, guys, actual chips. And I was talking with a subscriber like last year and they sent me some popcorn salt for my next fish and chips. Sorry that it's been a year, but we're finally getting around to using the old popcorn salt. We also have, of course, Louisiana Kitchen. You know, I feel like I need a sponsor from them, Louisiana Kitchen. I actually sent an email off to them um, asking if they'd sponsor my channel and uh, I haven't gotten a response yet. Anyway, we're gonna put some of that in a bag, shake it up, or put the trout, this part of it, in there. And then we're just gonna coat it up nice and good. And now the star of the show, guys, an Idaho potato. We're gonna cut this nice and thin for the chips. By the way, I know uh, what real fish and chips are. They're actual like fries. Um, <laughs> this is, I, I thought that would be funny in my last fish and chips video to call it fish and chips, actual like chips. Uh, but a lot of people didn't get it and they were like, that's not real fish and chips. A lot of people can't take a joke, I guess. This is as, as, as authentic fish and chips as you can get now that you think about it. Cause I'm actually making chips. Look at that. So thin, I can almost see through it. Then we shall bring the oil over to the fire. And uh, we have a couple of rocks there. They're pretty even with each other, and we're gonna set it right on there. Nice and careful like. Boom. All right, guys, we've got our fish and our chips all ready to go. And uh, take this piece of trout, well coated. Is the oil hot? Yeah, the oil looks like it's hot. You know what? Let's do something real quick. Let's experiment. Let's uh, throw, no. you know what, the oil needs to be maybe just, well yeah, that's bubbling pretty nice. What would you say, Mav? I'd give it just a little yeah, bit longer. Just a little bit longer to heat yeah. up. It needs to be a little bit hotter. All right guys, our test chip, the oil is hot enough for sure. Our test chip is golden brown, as you can see. We'll set him off to the side. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's hot enough now. And then we're gonna add some chips around it. Woo! Probably one more. There we go. <laughs> that is a beautiful sight and a beautiful sound. I wish we had a smell tube so you guys could smell how this is cooking up. You know, I'm gonna scratch that part. Smell tube. What the, <laughs> <laughs> the key to cooking over to frying fish over an open fire is to tend the fire so it stays nice and hot throughout the cooking process. We're gonna flip this bad boy now. Woo. And check out how brown and crispy those chips are getting right there. Look at that. All right, all the chips are cooked to perfection, if I may say so myself, and I do. And what we do is we run over here real quick. And whilst the chips are hot, we're gonna add some of our popcorn salt. Oops, <laughs> the popcorn salt is so light, the wind almost blew it away. It's blowing it away. And that popcorn salt will stick to the chips. A subscriber actually taught me that, showed me that. I didn't even know popcorn salt was a thing. Guys, while the uh, chips are still hot, Mav, if you wanna grab one. one. Oh, they're nice and light and flaky. Uh-huh, Or not Cheers. flaky, they're nice and Crispy. Crispy? Yeah. <laughs> Can't speak right now. It's gonna taste so good. Mmm. Dude. How'd you do that? Isn't that good? Like... <laughs> Guys, hear the crunch. Mmm. Like. That is so nice. I don't know how you got so crispy. Guys, you gotta try that. Just cut potatoes really thin. You want to have them off? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Put so salt good. and pepper, mm. and then you gotta eat them while they're hot, because they go cold fast, and they're no good. <clears throat> their their uh, wait, lifespan is like two minutes. All right, now we shall remove the pièce de la résistance. Never mind, I just hashed up the king's French there. Let me take that off. And we got more fries cooking whilst we try the trout. A uh, fork here. Oh. Dude, we have no fork. I just realized I lost my well, fork where'd, somewhere. Where'd my spoon go? 
I have a spork. Here. A spork. But oh, no a pork. spork? Okay, you a want spork? a spork? Yeah, spork it. <laughs> so I've actually never had trout with a uh, batter on it. Really? Uh uh. Well, this I is the first. You'll like it. This is a weenie bite. I gotta grab a bigger <laughs> yeah, bite. Come this on, is man. Weak. Weak. There we go. There's a man's piece right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and just, you know. You just eat off it if you want. Oh, you there's, took, here's my you, piece. You just beheaded it. You gotta eat the whole head. Just, yeah. Oh, you actually did. <laughs> I was like, what? I thought you, like, Mav is going mountain man on me. I, With eyeball and all. I ate the trout, bones and all. Oh, that was way salty. Not recommended. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. and there's salty a salty head? There's a bone stuck in my teeth. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna go for an actual bite now. <laughs> you surprised me. I was like, well, this is the way he eats trout, I guess. That was so good. <laughs> Isn't it good? Yeah. Man. With the, with the skin If I do say so myself, I've been getting better at this cooking or frying fish. Yeah, my dude. first fried fish and chips was kind of weak, but this I have leveled up. up. Man, I'm, I'm enjoying my own cooking way more. And then guys, we have here a second round of the chips. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make some Cajun chips. Louisiana Kitchen, again, Cajun seasoning. This is original, this isn't the black and stuff. This is just like an original Cajun seasoning. Generously over the chips. Mav, you wanna try some of this? Oh yes. Those last chips are so good. Cajuns might even be better. Cheers. Oh. I'm so sorry, I was I'm cheered. so rude. No, no, you're fine. I'm I, so rude. I always do it <laughs> with my brother. You food and I'm getting a cheer. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like those. No, it was, mm -hmm. actually, I like the salt and pepper better. Salt and pepper is good. Guys, if you try it, you don't have to get the fancy Cajun season. Me, personally, I like the salt and pepper better. Well, guys, we got done uh, cooking, and then we actually fished for like another 45 minutes, maybe an hour or so, till it got dark. And I still have one fish on the day. We're actually gonna skip all of that because it was just a whole lot of me casting again. <laughs> Mav comes to my home state and just totally destroys me. You got like what, six trout? Got, yeah, five trout and then I had, right at the end, I had that one follow in yeah. and white, so. Yeah, I mean, I, the only way, the only reason I caught one is because I picked up, made a few <laughs> casts with you. I had the lucky fishing. run, what can I say? Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, that's the way fishing goes sometimes. Dude, it was hey, fantastic. Thank hey, you so here. much, dude. We, awesome. we had, we have a great, we have a great time making these videos together. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you check out that Mav's video next. I'll put it right there. And if you want to see a catch a quick playlist of every catch a quick I've ever posted, I'll put, put that right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.